clearly nap time for him. But I wanted him in my video so you guys could see how cute he is. Sorry, we may have a sleeping baby this video. We'll see. We had Max's well checkup today for his two months, so I have all the good stats for you guys. In height, he is 23 and a half inches long, which put him in the 75 percentile for his height. He is 13 pounds. 13 pounds. He was born 8 pounds, and in two months, he is now 13 pounds. And that put him in the 69 percentile for his height, or his weight. And his head, he is in the 63 percentile for his head. So, he's a chunker. Like, look at this kid. Chunker baby. He's getting rolls. He's getting chunker rolls. Oh, he's just so cute. So, we have now moved him to a size 2 diaper, which is crazy. We have three boxes, boxes of one diapers that now I'm hoping I can return and get two diapers. We had one box of size two, so that was nice when I was like, oh, I think we need to change diapers. We already had a box on hand, but now I need to go figure out how if I can, uh, if I can exchange the other three size one diapers. So yeah, he's just growing. He is in a uh, three month clothes. He's filling out his three month clothes. Like I'm going to have to move up in clothes soon. He's going through clothes so, so fast. He's just a big boy. That's all I can ever say is he's just a big boy. I actually forget how young he is because of how big he is. Like, he's just a big boy and I just love every piece of him. I don't think I mentioned in his last update video that he has a little issue with um, goop in his eyes. He has, the doctor said they're just uh, clogged tear ducts and he has it in both eyes. And so he gets just like, um, just goop in his eyes because they're not draining. So after like, especially sleeping all night, he wakes up and sometimes the, it's like hard and crusty and so I could tell his eyes get irritated because we have to constantly keep cleaning them. They tell us to massage the inside of his eyes. So at his checkup today she went ahead and gave us um, prescribed some eye drops. Now they won't help with the clogginess but they will help kind of clear up some of the goop and make sure his eyes don't get infected because they're not draining properly. Um, and this can last anywhere from 10 to 10 months to a year old to to clear up. She says usually by 10 months if it hasn't really cleared up she will send us to a specialist but now we just need to monitor them to make sure his eyes don't get infected, keep massaging them and just keep cleaning them. So that's all we can do for his little eyes at the moment. Nursing is still going really well. I have also been pumping um, pretty much every other morning or so and I have a really good storage going so far for when I go back to work which means I also had enough to go ahead and introduce a bottle to him and I was really nervous about it because I've heard like horror stories about kids who just will not take a bottle and I work full time I have to go to work he's going to be taking at least three bottles a day while he's at the nurse at um our daycare so I needed to make sure he could take a bottle so I was really nervous about it and I think I was nervous because it just meant it's just closer for me going back to work and I'm just <sighs> not ready to go back to work but I gave him a bottle for the first time and he totally dug it like I put four ounces in there and he drank about three and a half ounces and then he was done and then the next day I did it again and he drank again about three to three and a half ounces so I'm just trying to give him a bottle at least every other couple of days so I can keep an eye out on at least how many ounces he's drinking so I know how much to send with him to daycare. But yes, he is uh, taking a bottle fine and he's nursing really well. We actually took him to Disneyland this week. Uh, it was him and Lily's first time at Disneyland and he did fine. I mean, he's just such an easy, chill baby. And I just, uh, baby wearing was like a lifesaver while we were at Disneyland because he could go with me on the rides, you know, the easy rides. Um, but he was super chill there and I actually, f Disneyland was the first time I've nursed in public. I cover up, I don't not cover, um, but it was still kind of the first time even though I nursed Lily for 11 months, I never really nursed her outside of the house or like friends houses or anything like that or at church there's a specific room for it but just kind of being out in the open um, was the first time and it was it was easy it wasn't that big of a deal I didn't find anyone was looking at me all crazy or I, and I was also just kind of ignoring everybody <laughs> just feeding my child like I said he's a pretty chill baby between 7 at night to 10 at night is usually when he's up for that full time just kind of want to be up hang out with us and so he does he kind of just chills with us until 
10 o'clock and then that feeding he usually is like falls asleep during the feeding and he does not want to be woken back up and I put him back to bed and we still just kind of sleep until he wakes up and he wakes up usually about 3 o'clock and this last last night he didn't wake up until 7 and actually I woke him up to feed him and that's about the time we all kind of get up for the day Lily gets up for the day and stuff so that was really nice that he did that stretch until 7 but for the most part he only gets up around 2.33 and then not again until about anywhere between 6 and 7 so I would say he only wakes up once during the night again his last feeding of the night is at 10 o'clock at night and then we just see how the night goes so he's just been like again like I said again he's just a chill chill baby and it's been really nice Lily just keeps on warming up to him when he cries, she says his name, she brings him blankets, she brings him, she tries to, you know, rock him in his uh, rocker, and so she's just warming up to him, she's a lot more helpful, she gives him a kiss goodnight every night, and it's just really cute to start seeing her interact with him. Max is still sleeping in our room, I haven't transitioned him to his crib or anything, I haven't even really started any type of sleep schedule with him. Um, yeah, he doesn't nap in his crib yet. I was going to start that. I haven't. He kind of just, um, sometimes there's times where he naps in our room in his little uh, co-sleeper. He'll nap in there while I'm downstairs with Lily during lunchtime or something like that. Um, but for the most part, he's usually with us on one of the floors napping in his pack and play or in his rocker or in his co-sleeper. But I haven't yet, like, consistently put him in his room to nap. Um... I'm thinking, I only have three weeks until I go back to work, and so I have this week, and then the next week I am um, visiting my parents for almost a week with the kids, and then the following week is my last week, and then I go back to work. So somewhere in the next three weeks, I will try and get some sort of a napping routine down for him, but um, I like to do that just for when I go back to work. The lady that watches him, she's licensed to do it from her home. The lady we've gone to church with, our friends use her. And she will stick to any type of like feeding and eating schedule we have. So I like to have some sort of like napping schedule to give her um, just so she knows, you know, kind of the schedule throughout the day. And she can kind of work that into her day with the kids instead of kind of an unknown, here you go, I don't know what he's going to do that day type of thing. We did it with Lily and it worked really great to have her on a kind of a, a napping and feeding schedule, which is really easy to transition her to daycare. I felt better about it because I knew like what to expect that day kind of new I know her routine and it wasn't like an up in the air thing when I picked her up to be like how was she today did she how many times did she nap when did she nap did she do this do that I kind of know her schedule and it's kind of just easier as a mom going back to work to kind of have the kids on a schedule because I know the routine the daycare lady knows the routine and it's just easier for everybody so I just need to be a little bit more diligent on that in the next couple of weeks and get him started on something uh, he holds his head up really well, even at his doctor's visit today when she had him on his stomach to like check him out. She was just commenting on how, how well like he was holding his head up and how for, for how long he was doing it. And he really doesn't like hate tummy time, we'll do tummy time, he's kind of chill with it. And again, it helps like, I know I said this in past videos, it helps get their gas out. So he's super chill when it comes to tummy time and he does really well with holding his head up. He is starting to coo at you, so if you sit there, especially during his, like when he's really awake, and just start talking to him and baby talk and ask him how he's doing. He definitely will start to kind of like make noises at you. You can tell it kind of takes his whole body to like say something. But it's so adorable when they start to kind of like make eye contact with you and start cooing at you and making noises like they're talking to you. Um, it's really fun to start to see them come alive and their personality really start to come out. And so he's starting to do that. Even at the doctor's today she was like, oh you're trying to talk to me? And she was trying to talk to him and it was really adorable. So oh, that is it for Max's two month update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching my video, please go ahead and subscribe. I do videos pretty much every week is my schedule. But um, yeah, just come along with us in this journey. I am a mom of two now. I have a two month old and a 22 month old. And Lily's birthday is in May, which means I have birthday videos coming up, an update video for her when she turns two years old. And she is just a ball of fire and she keeps us on our toes and she's hilarious. So I will have more videos with her coming up. So just come along with this journey. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Let's be friends. Let's hang out on this YouTube world. It'll be fun. So I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you wake up for everybody? They want to see your face. Can you say anything? No? Okay. Bye everybody.